going on there, YouTube? Uh, I had a couple people interested in a current shop tour. I did one, oh, last year sometime. I don't remember when. And uh, lots changed, of course, since then. So, just going to give you a quick walk around, kind of show you the mess that I work with and what things are going on at the moment. All right, so kind of the first thing is I've got some new tools. Uh, I've been using this a lot. This is a uh, bench sander. You can sand here, get perfect angles, and you've got the belt on top. That's pretty handy. I've been using it on metal, so the, a lot of the... Uh, <laughs> I need a new disc on there anyway. Um, let's see. Before I had the sandblaster in here, you've seen that. Still don't have a big enough air compressor for it. Um, got a lot of junk, all this mess here. Uh, what else? Not much going on. The uh, cruiser up there in ruins. And the big red project. I got the body kind of out of the way. That's half a blazer up there. This is my scale shelf. This is scale accessories and odds and ends that I might need. Trailer I started building and never finished. Um, got exhaust. D90 interior I haven't finished. Uh, the blazer parts for the monster truck. I've got some uh, Yoda fenders, inner fenders, and core support up there, some canoes and stuff. Um, down here, got the D90, which I haven't messed with in a while, after we did the running video. And back there is everybody's favorite wheels, entire setup. <laughs> um, in these bins, I've got shocks, springs, some spare 155 beadlocks, bumpers, and metal bits, and plastic, and stuff. Uh, touring car stuff, metal windows, just miscellaneous junk, more bumpers, RC four wheel drive stuff, some bruiser stuff, uh, more RC four wheel drive, uh, cross members, bumper mounts. This is where I kept all my leaf springs, but I have them all out right now because I was, what was I trying to put those on? I was trying to leaf spring something, I don't remember what. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get the, uh, the K10 leaf sprung so I had all my leaf springs laid out trying to uh, sort everything out see if I had enough uh, I got my spectrum back there this is the interior for the blazer monster truck which I still have not made any progress on I'm supposed to be doing something with that here pretty soon so um, I do have a video on there about all of my totes all my little plastic organizers I've got self tapping or like plastic screws I've got uh, fine thread screws for all the hardware. I've got nuts, odds and ends, uh, special bolts, semi truck parts. I've just got a bunch of that stuff everywhere. Um, got monster truck tires, spare metal. Um, got my shelves of paint, which I now have a new shelf in my living room of paint from all the stuff I've been doing recently that I need to integrate into here. Um, boxes of junk. I mean, this. Stuff back here, I've got a brushless motor. This is, uh, actually that's not junk. That's all my, my LEDs for lights. I've got some stuff in there. LEDs and sockets and things. Um, this little bucket of screws is probably older than most of you watching. Had that, that stuff from when I was about 10 or 11. And I got zip ties and my weathering components, which I haven't used in a while. I really want to do something else weathering here pretty soon. I uh, got bungee cords, scale bungee cords. On this end of the shelf I keep my thread lock which has exploded. Super glues, shock fluid, tire glue, styrene glues, all that good stuff. And my grease back here. This is what I use to grease my all my axles and gearboxes. It's a super white lithium grease. Pretty good stuff. Uh, we got up here some bins of junk. Down here I've got a small toolbox with a, the monster truck blazer body. Uh, and this shelf still screwdrivers mainly, but I've moved most of what I need to the workbench over by the garage. So I'll show you that here in a bit. I've got tapes, which is users are there everywhere. <laughs> and I got a sticker drawer, which I can't open at the moment. Uh, I've been getting a lot of use out of this corner. Um, all these things, this is old uh, parts for my vintage Tonka trucks. I've got hubcaps and headlights, some of it's new, some of it's original, 
There's a bunch of stuff for that that I haven't really messed with in a while. Um, got my polishing bench grinder, bench polisher, whatever. And I've got my vise, which is kind of attached to the table. It likes to come loose on me. Uh, I got my welding helmet. Got my calendar. <laughs> I've got my stick welder down here in the floor. You can see the uh, thing here for making chassis that I've been trying to make anyway. Um, these are really cool. These are, are small table clamp benches or bench vices. And uh, I've got these at an antique store. And they were a little expensive. I think the smaller one here was probably, I think it was 20 bucks. This one was like 35. These are really cool. They just handy to have something that size, especially with the little things that I work on in here. Uh, moving on, got some parts. I've got another Trailfinder 2 frame back here. I've been slowly putting together for no reason, other than I had it. Bought some new drill bits, which I'm already missing a couple. Awesome. Just metal snips, tape measure. I need to get some more of these. These wood clamps are really handy. Uh, more of my totes, Dremel bits, screwdrivers, just random junk. It really should have cleaned before I did this, but I'm just tired. <laughs> been at work all day so uh, didn't feel like cleaning so anyway moving around here above the shop I've got my boat still I've never done anything with this is a 36 inch all wood uh, I can't remember what model Aqua Riva something it's got a full interior I've got it partially gutted if you can see anything in there I'm sorry if you can't and I've cut the floors out big mistake because I don't know how to build boats I was trying to run a dual prop setup. I've got two 320 sized motors uh, counter rotating. Uh, that's as far as I got. I don't know how to seal all this stuff up, and I can't find anyone around me that knows boats. So, so I got my Amigo. Um, haven't driven her in a while, but uh, I love that little truck. I'll never get rid of it. I got so much work in that interior. It's my first real full interior I've ever done, plus the. Uh, brazing that's the first bumper I've ever brazed and uh, it's a really good scale truck a lot of neat little things that I've done to it I love and I've got my original Hilux if you haven't seen it in a while it's still all together ready to run got those GCM 155 or they're not 15 they're, they're kind of like a 16 they're a little bit off and it makes them fit a little bit different it makes the tires act a little different on them and they're really really offset they set in, barely stick out past the fenders. Really great products. You guys had to check out GCM. They've got a, a US web store now at tinytrucks.com. They've got some really cool stuff. You need to give them a look and check out their channel because those guys kind of got me going on YouTube with their scale talk videos. They did so much cool stuff and I was like, all right, I'm gonna try this. Uh, moving on, there's my red Hilux. It's not. I can't leave it on the tires. I have those Mickey Thompson Baja claws. They like to go flat real bad. That's a pretty heavy little truck. So I had some mud thrashers on it just to, so I could set it up somewhere, but I had to steal some for something else. So <laughs> that's how it sits. And that truck is ready to run. But uh, yeah, I just haven't been driving much lately. It's been really hot and I just haven't felt like it. Uh, and that's all just junk. That's house stuff and I've got a, a dip kit up there for hydro dipping. I've done a little bit of that before, just see how it works. Um, that leaves us here at the shop, at the scale garage. This is how I do my lighting. This is a really cool light my mom gave me. It's got a magnifier on it, but I use this to get all the really cool pictures that I use for my thumbnails and the stuff I keep on my Flickr page. So I can bring light right into where I need it, and then I can just snap a picture like you're looking at right there but um yep there's the blazer still uh going a little bit at a time got the headers on it you've seen that video did the gcm lrt2 transfer case um i'm not sure what's next for the blazer uh, i was talking with uh, a friend i can't remember who because i've got a lot of people <laughs> a lot of folks talking to me on facebook and through youtube and instagram i've got a lot of uh people shooting ideas past me and talking about their trucks and but anyway yeah they've got some uh, I think it's exclusive has some door panels for the interior an interior kit for the Viterra Ascender with the Blazer and uh, my friend I think it was Ross I was talking to he talked to him and they started listing door panels separate 
So us RC four-wheel drive bodied guys can pick us up some door panels to add to our truck since the interior does not come with any. So definitely going to have to pick up some of those here pretty soon. I keep forgetting. I've got so much stuff going on nowadays. I keep forgetting. <laughs> and the K10, poor thing, broke it back in half after I tried to poorly JB weld it together. But I've got the suspension set up. I've got it lowered back down. I've got the... the uh, growlers on there, Pitbull growlers, 155 Landys that we reversed in the other video. So they're deep dished and they stick out more like a, uh, that truck should look. So uh, about figured out the body mounts. I, I know there's some guys that uh, are sending me picture stuff that are way ahead of me on doing the truck conversions. And I know probably everybody's seen, uh, pardon my noobs, he was probably one of the first ones to do a pickup. So I'm I, not trying to be the first, I'm just trying to do it too <laughs> just like you guys I'm just trying to do cool stuff but uh yep I've got a I know how I got to fix the frame I know how I should have done it to start with I just need to cut some aluminum brace it bolt it and be done with it but I was trying to I had this fantasy that I was going to be able to JB weld it together and then smooth it all up nice and paint it but I, I don't know what direction that truck's still going to go yet so that's why it's kind of stalled and uh main reason all the crawler builds have stalled is because this guy here my 32 roadster this thing i see i've painted it i haven't done a video on that yet i've got my wheels these are 155 landies that are reversed also just like on the k10 and i painted these uh it's a rustoleum grass green and that is the same color i painted the inside of my 58 chevy painted my dash and uh, all the metal parts and I'm not sure if I anything about colors or anything yet. I had to do some uh, body work, which I still need to come back and, and do another another layer on. I filled the uh, vent on the cowl. I filled the original windshield post holes because that, that glue wouldn't let go. So I just sanded them. I ground them down with the Dremel and used some Tamiya putty and smoothed it all up. I bought this windshield on eBay. This is a, a cast aluminum, it looks like. The Duval and it was it came really flattened it was shipped in a, a padded envelope and it got stomped on at the post office probably because it said fragile all over it so it didn't uh, it, it have that's as good as I've been able to get it so far I'm afraid I'm gonna break it I've tried to uh, bend cast things before and I've had bad bad luck so I'm taking it slow it's just held on with a little square two-sided tape here in the middle so it's not permanently mounted which I don't have any idea how I'm going to mount yet because it is just a cast piece and there's no anything to it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to paint the hood and the and the grill primer also. I, I, that may be as far as I go with it. I think I want to put a number on the side. I think. So, uh, I don't know. We'll get to that one. Um, pretty much all this stuff over here is still the same. Got my snap-on toolbox. I have added some of these signs around the shop. You can see there and some parts. I've got another 32 Ford door laying back there. Just stuff that you'd find around a real shop. Got stickers on my toolbox. I thought that was kind of cool to use some of the, uh, the small stickers that come with the products. Got a fan up there. Same stuff on the shelf. Just some Rubbermaid totes. Basic stuff. Lucas Oil WD-40. A couple oil filters. I got my big mouth bass. Got some dice hanging on them. Got my emblems in the window here. Same old, same old. This junk pile over here is, is really a disaster in here. <laughs> I've been building pretty much nonstop. I've just got piles of stuff everywhere. Got interior bits for the, the hot rod, tools, screws, hubs, lights. But this here, I, I did a sneak peek of this on Instagram earlier today. This is not a Model T or a Model A frame. And this is not anything that you can buy. This chassis is 100% handmade out of brass. I found it on eBay. I get lost on eBay sometimes looking at anything I can find that's the right size. And I, I ran across this, a guy in California, I believe. He, is, he had restored some old British cars. And this... This is a replica of a chassis. I can't remember what it was. It was some weird little little British roadster from the, the 30s or the 40s. 
and uh, this chassis, he, he decided, he, he restored the car, and he wanted to learn more about structural integrity of the frame, so he built this from all brass, 100% exact replica of the frame on the car. And I, I just ran across this, and I, I had to have it. I don't know yet how I'm going to use it. It's roughly the same size and shape as a a Model A or a Model T. I I don't know yet. It just it looks so real. I had to have it, and the price was fair, very fair. I, something like this, handmade. I mean, I've got a lot of appreciation for that because I I'm not that good at working with metal yet, or hardly at all. And uh, this is all handmade. This wasn't a kit or anything. This is something this guy just pieced together. It's all brazed. All the scale bolts, the cross members, everything was just made from brass tubing and brass plates. And it's it's pretty impressive. I got that for about 60, a little over 60 bucks shipped. I, and something like that, I, I would pay hundreds for if I could. <laughs> Just to appreciate the, the work and the time that goes into that. It's somebody with patience well beyond what I have. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use this, how I'm going to use it. If I'm just going to, it'll probably just be in the back of the shop, kind of on display on jack stands for a while, till uh, we get to the point where the roadster here is finished, and uh, we get some more stuff knocked out, and then maybe we can make something out of that. But um, yep, yeah, that's about it. I don't know if you. Underneath the garage here, I've got another boat I've never finished. I keep my small air compressor, shop vac, foam from the kits to do painting on and stuff like that. So just junk everywhere. Junk in the floor. I did have one more thing I want to show you real quick. My wall of hot rod signs. Maybe a uh, another custom build in the future. Ran across this on eBay. It was missing some tires and stuff, and I was just like, "That's that's too cool." I, mean, I have a '58 Chevy, and it's kind of an odd year. No, no one really makes a whole lot of toys of any size of a '58, and if they do, it's a two-door Impala, which I have a four-door base model Del Rey. So I don't know. It was a '57. It's Barbie, but I got a pretty good deal on it since it was missing some tires. I've thrown my my 155s with mud slingers on there just the just for grins. Looks cool. I don't think if I get to this, I don't know when. I doubt it'll be a a bag project. I may make more of a pro touring car out of it. I kind of have a idea in my mind for something like that. But uh, yeah, that's still a long ways away. Um, I got too many other kettles in the fire at the moment. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and. Appreciate everyone's contributions, emails, and thumbs up, and everything. So, uh, see you guys in the next video.